right. And this, this next piece is a very happy circumstance. There's a movement going on in Edmonton that I think captures everything that we've been talking about this morning, about building a better world, about living for justice and compassion. And we have a guest speaker with us this morning who is actually somebody I get the chance to work with every day. So it's kind of fun. Bridget Sterling is an Edmonton Public School trustee, but she's also part of, well, I'll let her tell her what she's part of, but she's part of community, community building, building a just and a better world. And this is just one initiative that she is promoting and that we are, as a congregation are going to be part of. So Bridget, come on up. Hi, good morning, everyone. And it's actually really great because there are a lot of um, familiar, friendly faces in this room this morning. So, uh, But it's good to see you all today. So I'm here today um, on behalf of a group called Hate Free YG or Hate Free Yeg. And we're a really brand new group of people. Um, so we formed uh, in September uh, in response to what we're seeing as a rise of hate groups and um, hate crimes in our city. So we, um, we're a small group of friends. We came together in response to some of the events we've seen in the last couple of years. Uh, the swastika has painted on a Jewish school and, and in a Jewish community in our city, uh, attacks on, on mosques, on Muslim people in our city, uh, incidents of racism, homophobia, all these things we've been seeing going on. And as we know, there's been a rise of a lot of this stuff in the world. And so um, we initially sort of came together Following, um, there were, on Labor Day, the counter-protest uh, against the uh, soldiers of Odin, and then um, looking at the event that they were holding on September 11th. And then we came together at a conference at the University of Alberta called The Good Fight uh, that was organized to help people organizing in the community learn what they could do in response to sort of rising fascism and hate groups in our, in our city, how we could begin to develop some community responses. And at that event, um, some of us came together and this was only in the middle of September, so this has happened really fast. Um, but some of us came together and said, you know, the thing is that we know is a lot of people in our community want to respond to these things, but a lot of us don't know what we can do in really simple ways to help. And so we thought, what's a way that we can take some really concrete action to help make spaces in our city better? And we decided that we would um, create this organization called Hate Free YG. So we have no formal existence except for being sort of a group of friends who came together. But we're working with um, businesses and community organizations to start with um, to, to get them to take a pledge that makes a commitment for them to stand up against all forms of discrimination, whether that's racism, ableism, uh, ableism homophobia, uh, sexism, uh, all kinds of forms of discrimination that might take place in their space. Uh, to say we're going to be a space where that doesn't belong, that we're not going to serve and welcome these groups if they come in wearing their colors. Um, we're not going to invite them into our spaces because we want these spaces to be safe for people. And that doesn't mean we don't want people to have compassionate conversations with people in their communities who might hold these views, but we're saying this sort of thing needs to not be welcome in our public spaces, that we need to make it the social norm to be welcoming and inclusive. And so... We, uh, first of all, have developed um, the pledge, and we've got some decals and stickers that we're distributing to some small businesses and community groups in our city. Uh, we've already distributed more than 20 of them, which is pretty great because we got our stickers a week ago. <laughs> and so I'm here this morning to bring one to your community, um, you know, and, and recognizing the great commitment that the Unitarian Church of Edmonton has made uh, to these principles, um, but also to invite you, if you're part of an organization or a group, to reach out to us. We're happy to, um, to talk to you about our work and what we do, uh, to bring you a decal to display. So a lot like when you go to a business and you see a rainbow flag on the door, you know what that means, right? You know they've taken on certain principles. We're trying to sort of make this the same kind of symbol. So... Uh, none of us are, are working for the organization in a way. This is um, a bunch of us doing this as a community of friends um, in our spare time, but just trying to help people in the community understand how to respond. And in the future, we're uh, also developing hopefully some workshops and some educational programming just to help people have a bit of a simple toolkit on what they can do and how they can simply respond to make our city a safer place for everyone. So thank you so much for inviting me here to speak about it. Um, you can find us online at hatefreeyeg.com. We also are on Twitter and Facebook. 
um, or you can email us at hatefreeyg at gmail.com if you're interested in knowing more or getting involved in supporting our work. So thanks so much for welcoming me this morning.